and launch? Yeah. Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video. So we are currently getting sawdust. Uh, we are at a different lumber mill than we usually go to. Uh, we actually had to be over this direction anyway, so we just figured we might as well get it over here instead. It's a little farther away than the one we usually go to, but like I said, we had to be over here anyway, so it wasn't really a big deal. So Brent is out packing it down right now, and I'm just admiring this loader. It's just beautiful. I wish I had that loader. Daydreaming. So it is a little bit later in the day. I think this is all that we're going to be doing today. We'll probably get home just in time to milk the girls, but there were a few things that I did want to show you. Um, the Addie, that brown Swiss heifer that I had showed you guys a while ago, she calved. She had a beautiful little heifer calf who is actually gone already. We had somebody that really wanted her and the speckled heifer that I showed you guys in the last video. So I'm really sad that she's gone, but I know she went to a good place. So both of those calves are gone, but I really wanted to show you Addie and how she bagged up and how she's doing. And I kind of wanted to show you guys how a heifer that we raised acts because we don't raise many heifers and I just figured I'd take the opportunity to show you guys how they act when we raise them and they've been around us and in the tie stall since they were shortbred. I just kind of wanted to show you milking her. And a few other things. It's probably not going to be much of an interesting video because unfortunately Brent and I are both pretty sick. Um, we're staying away from everybody. We're using like drop boxes and stuff and not going in anywhere so that's kind of a bummer. But. Um, it is what it is. It feels like a really bad cold, honestly. Um, makes you really, really tired. But other than that, completely fine. So we're going to get filled up, and then we're going to tarp it down, and then we're going to head back, and then we're going to get into milking the girls. Did this close? Yeah. It seems like everything's closed now. Yeah. That was it. It was only in the air, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, only in the air. No, it's just air. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. We just got back from doing sawdust. We actually did not dump it because um, we think we can get the truck out back in the next few days. So we didn't want to dump it out front if we didn't have to. So we haven't dumped that yet. Um, Brent is out getting cornmeal for the girls. I've already got the bale all unwrapped and ready to go. Now I just need to finish hauling out and run the cleaner. So we'll turn that on. So I just finished going around with their bale, they're eating that right now, and I almost forgot to introduce a couple girls to you guys, so we will do that right now before I forget. This right here is Sandy, she is a six year old purebred Holstein, she came from the cattle dealer, so we've only had her for probably three or four years, but something about her is that she was actually about a week away from calving when we got her, gotta stand in the right light here, she was bred to a Jersey Bull, so she had a Jersey Holstein little heifer and she was adorable so we decided to keep her and raise her and we actually do still have her. She's working on being dried off for her second calf so that's pretty cool that we do still have her daughter here. So that is Sandy. Our next lovely lady is also a purebred Holstein. This right here is Rhonda. I think she's around five years old as well. We actually bought her last year from a neighboring farmer who just, he milks his own cows and I think he sells his milk locally and he has really really good cows so she is new to us so I don't really know a whole lot about her other than the fact that she absolutely loves to stand next to this cow that looks exactly like her which is kind of creepy. So before we started milking I did want to show you Addie but before we do that I wanted to also thank you guys so much for all your support you showed in the last video all your sweet comments I really appreciate that so much so thank you guys for that. Um, now I will show you Addie you can see she bagged up pretty well. You can also see that she's pretty dirty. I don't know why she likes to be dirty. She's she's always clean. I don't even know how she gets that dirty. But So she bagged up pretty nice. She does keep her milk pretty high. So after you wash her, she does bag up quite a bit. But other than having a little bit of edema, she is completely healthy. And that's going down a lot because she did calve about five or six days ago. And like I said earlier, I just really wanted to show you guys how a heifer that we raised 
and we try to bring them in the barn as early as possible when we know they're bred. Sometimes we bring them in when they were just heifers and we'll tie them up next to a cow just so they get used to people walking in next to them, being next to another cow, you know, having people brush up next to them, things like that. So I did want to show you guys how she reacts since she's only been milked a handful of times. Obviously, there are exceptions to the rules. You're always going to have that crazy cow that's never going to calm down and she's just wild and psychotic, no matter how she was raised, if she was raised really well or not. Just going to be crazy. So I did want to show you guys that. So now I'm going to have a quick coffee break, calm down a little bit, and then we're going to get into milking. She's milking, she has this face like she's queen. She's like we just finished milking. The girls have been all bed. They're um, Addie took her up there, so I gotta clean that up, but. Um, we actually did notice while we were milking Addie that the heifer next to her was trying to jump on her. Checked her chart and she is indeed in heat. But I'm gonna let her out real quick. So I just kind of wanted to show you guys how we would do that. It's kind of difficult, but I'm probably gonna get the girls wound. We'll just hope they don't crap too much. I just wanted to point out how many dry cows we have. Um, this whole steam is dry. Diana is dry. She's dry. She's dry. Just. A whole bunch of them. There's two up here, there's like seven up to the other end. We really have a lot of dry cows, so come March we're going to have a whole flood of cows calving. But So, I've got this cart covering this hole right here where the skid steer is in the summer. I'm going to shut this little gate. So she won't go up either the alley because she will do that. The bowl is most likely going to come in, so... Open this up and then go run her out real quick. Run, run, run. Also, I've noticed that the girls don't care if I run at all because they've seen me do too many weird things. So, there's the bowl. Told you guys. easier than I expected. She's actually pretty excited to go out. So the girls have all been vetted. We are done milking. Brent just finished the wash and went inside. Um, these are the dry cows I was telling you about. She's dry. She is. She is. There's two there and then there's one there. So there's six on this end and there's probably a good half dozen or more on that end. 
So most of them are due in March and some of them are due in April, so it's gonna be really busy spring. But I am excited to show that to you guys. So Brent brought the skid steer in, as you can see, because I'm sitting on it. It's supposed to be cold tonight. We're having another stretch of cold weather. It's just really hanging on. So spring is not here yet, but I'm hoping it's close to come. So it pretty much wraps things up. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below. Keep it real and keep farming, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Good night, girls.